I'll start with you, Senator Cruz. Now, you are, of course, a strict constitutionalist. No one would doubt that. And as you know, the U.S. Constitution says only natural-born citizens are eligible for the office of President of the United States. Stop me if you've heard this before. Now, you were born, you were born in Canada to an American mother, so you were and are considered an American citizen. But that fellow next to you, Donald Trump, and others have said that being born in Canada means you are not natural-born, and that has raised questions about your eligibility. Do you want to try to close this topic once and for all tonight? <laughs> well, Neil, I'm glad we are focusing on the important topics of the evening. <laughs> you know, back in September, uh, my friend Donald said that he had had his lawyers look at this from every which way. And there was no issue there. There was nothing to this birther issue. Now, <laughs> since September, the Constitution hasn't changed. <laughs> but the poll numbers have. And, and I recognize, I, I recognize that Donald is dismayed that his poll numbers are falling in Iowa. But the facts and the law here are really quite clear. Under long-standing U.S. law, the child of a U.S. citizen born abroad is a natural-born citizen. If a soldier has a child abroad, that child is a natural-born citizen. That's why John McCain, even though he was born in Panama, was eligible to run for president. If an American missionary has a child abroad, that child is a natural-born citizen. That's why George Romney, Mitt's dad, was eligible to run for president even though he was born in Mexico. At the end of the day, the legal issue is quite straightforward, but I would note that the birther theories that Donald has been relying on, some of the more extreme ones insist that you must not only be born on U.S. soil, but have two parents born on U.S. soil. Under that theory, not only would I be disqualified, Marco Rubio would be disqualified, Bobby Jindal would be disqualified, and interestingly enough, Donald J. Trump would be disqualified. Got me. Because, because Donald's mother was born in Scotland. She was naturalized. Now, Donald, but on, I the was issue, born here. on the issue Remember. of citizenship, Donald. Big difference. On the issue of citizenship, Donald, I'm not going to use your mother's birth against you. Okay, good. <laughs> because it wouldn't work. You're an American as is everybody else on this stage. And I would suggest we focus on who's best prepared to be commander in chief, because that's the most important question facing the country. Mr. Trump, did, did, did he address that? Did you I'll, raise I'll this because of, of all, his rising poll well, Let me just tell you something, and you know because you just saw the numbers yourself. NBC Wall Street Journal just came out with a poll headline, Trump way up, Cruz going down. I mean, so don't, so you can't, you can't, I, they don't like the Wall Street Journal, they don't like NBC, but I like the poll. And frankly, <laughs> it just came out. And in Iowa now, as you know, Ted, in the last three polls, I'm beating you. So, you know, you shouldn't misrepresent how well you're doing with the polls. You don't have to say that. In fact, I was all for you until you started doing that because that's a misrepresentation. Number one. Number two. This isn't me saying it. I don't care. I think I'm going to win fair and square. I don't have to win this way. Thank you. Lawrence Tribe and numerous from Harvard, of Harvard, said that there is a serious question as to whether or not Ted can do this, okay? There are other attorneys that feel, and very, very fine constitutional attorneys, that feel that because he was not born on the land, he cannot run for office. For some reason, Neil, he beats the rest of the field. I already know the Democrats are going to be bringing a suit. You have a big lawsuit over your head while you're running, and if you become the nominee, who the hell knows if you can even serve in office? So you should go out, get a declaratory judgment, let the courts decide, and you why shouldn't you, have mentioned the polls because I would have been much but different. Why now? Why are you raising this issue now? Because now he's doing a little bit better. No, I didn't care before. It's true. No, it's true. Hey, look, he never had a chance. Now he's doing better. He's got probably a four or five percent chance. Thank you, Mr. Trump. I 
was up. Well, Na- Neil, if- the, the fact is, there's a big overhang. There's a big question mark on your head. And you can't do that to the party. You really can't. You can't do that to the party. You have to have certainty. Even if it was a 1% chance, and it's far greater than 1%, because he wasn't born. I mean, you have great constitutional lawyers that say you can't run. If there was a, and, the, and you know, I'm not bringing a suit, I promise. But the Democrats are going to bring a lawsuit. And you can't, you have to have certainty. You can't have a question. I can agree with you or not, but you can't have a question over your head. Senator, you want to respond? Well, listen, I've spent my entire life defending the Constitution before the U.S. Supreme Court, and I'll tell you, I'm not going to be taking legal advice from Donald Trump. You don't have to. Take it from Lawrence Trump. You don't have to. What I'll tell you also. Take it from your professor. What I will Take tell it from you your also, own professor. I can, I can the tell you chances one thing. of any litigation proceeding and succeeding on this are zero. Now, Mr. Trump is very focused on Larry Tribe. Let me tell you who Larry Tribe is. He's a left-wing judicial activist, Harvard Law professor, who was Al Gore's lawyer in Bush versus Gore. He's a major Hillary Clinton supporter, and there's a reason why Hillary's supporters are echoing Donald's attacks on me. He because is not Hillary the only one. Wants he to is face not Donald the only Trump one. In the there are many election. lawyers. And I'll tell you what, Donald, you, you very kindly just a moment ago offered me the VP slot. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If this all works out, I'm happy to consider uh, naming you as VP. And so if you happen to be right, you could get the top job at no, the end of the day. No, I, I think if it doesn't... Well, no, no. I like that. I like it. I'd consider it. But I think I'll go back to building buildings if it doesn't work out. Actually, I'd but love I have to get a feeling, you to build I have a, a feeling it's going to work out, actually. Right. Thank you. I was,